Hi, my friends. You know, at this time, uh, my name is Fernando, and I have a breakfast talk show called Fernando's Hideaway. And occasionally, we have marvelous guests, absolutely the biggest guests we can get. And occasionally, I pop in, and when I do these interviews, so we're going to get the biggest stars we can. We are talking now with a great comedy acting star, Mr. Robert Hughes, who was in the airport movie many, many years ago, who looks marvelous. Must have had one of those tuck jobs that's so popular here now. Bob, you look marvelous, absolutely marvelous. Thank you. Thank and it's a place with the airport. Which airport were you in? The, the first thing with the missiles? Well, no, no, it wasn't airport, it was airplane. It was a comedy, airplane. Airport, there were the, the serious films, airplane. Was yeah. Whatever. Did you? How many of those did you do? Two, three, four? Uh, two. Because they usually two. Mm -hmm. So you made. What was the first one called? Airplane. And the second? Airplane. Two. I, I did it. Which was two? Was that about an airplane too? It was about airplane two. Is it airplane T O O or T W O? Airplane. Well, T W A would be better Smashes. for the movie. Yeah. For the Actually, plane. it was airplane two, the sequel. Ah. So it probably was actually Airplane 3, because it was a sequel to 2, which hasn't been made yet. But that wouldn't be... A sequel is more than one. For something that Shadow sews onto her gown. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yes. Well, Bob, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. Always a pleasure seeing you. Always. This is the first time we have met. Huh? I think. Absolutely. Sort of. Thank Fernando, you so listen, much. I want to tell you, this has been one of the most interesting interviews I've ever had. For me, too. We should do a sequel. I think so. <laughs> you look marvelous. I and how about these bathrooms in hotel rooms? Do you ever notice these paper bands on the hotel toilet seats? Sanitize for your protection. Of course, they don't say protection from what? They don't want you to think about that. Can I the soaps in the soap? I'm looking for Mr. Andy Rooney's room. I don't hear me. There's a lot of So you walk around uh, Andy Rooney. Oh, oh, I think I, uh, I heard him right in here. I'll just place this right down here. Not to bother him, of course. I hate to do that to uh, people. Uh, Mr. Rooney, Mr. Rooney, it's only uh, oh, it's a very, uh, very interesting sight that I wouldn't suggest uh, you uh, look into. I think I just assume leave uh, at this point. But uh, should you need me, Mr. Rooney, feel free to call. I'll be right down in the uh, maids' quarters, uh, right around the corner. Get out of here. You just stop that. I think you are fantastic. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you very much. You are performing. Uh, we are, so we're doing something like it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, that was kind of risky to do with this, all of these diseases going on now, but it takes a man to face any of the things that they are going around your body. If I wake up tomorrow and I got a big thing here, I don't know who to call. Norman Lear at Tandem. If I get a herpes and syndication on my face, I'll be very, very upset. But it was marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Moving right along here. Gosh, it just seems like think time flies so quickly. You know, now Andy Kaufman is the conceptual artist. His act is, is sort of like a Jackson Pollock painting. That is, everybody interprets it differently. We all agree on one thing. What the hell is he talking about? Well, you welcome Andy Kaufman. Cash for 
for the merchandise, cash for the button hood, cash for the cotton good, cash for the hard good, cash for the fancy good, cash for the soft good, cash for the noggins and the pickings and the brickin, cash for the hogs head, cask and demi cash for the pickles and the crackers and the fly paper. What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? Where do you get? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you, talk? What do you, talk? you can talk, you can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, 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 you can talk, you can talk, you can talk. Talk, 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 bigger, bigger, bigger. You can talk all you want to, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't, but you gotta know the territory. Why is the Model T Ford made the trouble, made the people wanna go, wanna get, wanna get, wanna get up and go? 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 22, 23 miles to the county. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Who's gonna patronize a little bitty two by four kind of star anymore? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you get? Not the Model T at all. Take a gander at the store, at the margin store, at the present day store, at the present day margin department. What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man. And he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big tr- with the big trombones and the rat-a-tat drums. Big brass bass, big brass bass. And the piccolo, the piccolo, the uniforms. With the solid gold braid on the coat and the big red stripe running world. Don't know much about bands, but I do know. Can't make a living selling big trombone. No, sir. Mandolin picks, perhaps. And now and then a Jews harp. No, the fella sells bands, boys' bands. I don't know how he does it, but he lives like a king. And he tallies and he tallies and he struts and he shines. And when the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he doesn't know the territory. Penny, how are you? Billy. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Can we say hello? This is Lenny Kazan. I'm always, I'm Fernando here, taping for Fernando's side of the way. Lenny, you look marvelous. I'm covering up. They look marvelous. We all look marvelous. 